Today I'll be showing you how to connect multiple Excel tables into a single pivot table in Excel. So here I can see that I have two Excel tables. Uh, one of these has the sales for each SKU and it has their department as well. So this SKU belongs to the auto department and the sales have been this much. And this table over here has the target sales for each department. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to create a pivot table such that I can see the actual versus the target sales during this period of time. So I need to establish a relationship between these two tables and then connect them using that relationship. So you can see the department column is what is common between these two tables. So we're going to use that to our benefit to actually create a data relationship. So we'll head to the data tab and over here we'll select uh, data relationships and we're going to create a relationship between these two tables. So I'm going to select new and both of these tables, by the way, I've already named. This is called target sales and this is called uh, SKU. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to select my uh, target sales table and my related table is going to be my sales by SKU table, which is this table here. And the column that's going to link these two tables is the department column, right? So we're going to select department. Both of them are called department, right? Um, and then we're going to click OK. OK, so now that we've created this data relationship, uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to see this relationship in our power pivot and then we're going to actually create the pivot table. So I'm going to go into the data tab and into power pivot. And as you can see, this shows me the data view in which I can see both tables have been loaded up. I can see the diagram view to see uh, both of these tables have a, uh, a relationship, which is defined by the department columns in both tables. And so I'll just click on pivot table and I'm going to generate a pivot table, which is merged from both of these tables. I'm just going to right click and go into show field list. And from here, I'm going to select my target sales table. Now, remember, my target sales table is this one over here. And what I want to do is I want to list my department in the rows column in the rows uh, field um, so I can see the all the departments, all six of them. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to put target sales into values. So now I can see all the target sales as well. I'm just going to rename this so it shows uh, target sales. Press OK. And these are the target sales for each department. So essentially, we have taken this and we've put it into our pivot table right now. But now we want to add another column. And that column is actually going to be the sum of sales for each department. So for auto, it's going to be the sum of all of these values that have auto in them. And likewise for all six of the other departments. So what we'll do is we will hit our sales by SKU table. We'll expand that and I'll bring the sales to my values field setting over here as well. Now we can see the actual sales as well. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to just rename this as well. I'm just going to call it sales just for simplicity. So now we, we can see the actual sales versus the target sales. And now in order to determine easily spot out if we've made our target sales or not, I'm going to go into conditional formatting and a new rule is going to be made, which is going to be equals to this first cell greater than this cell. So whenever the target is greater than the sales, the actual sales, I want to format it and I want to highlight the row with a red color. And I'm just going to remove the dollar sign in front of the uh, row number four because I wanted to keep looping down the rows. However, I can keep the dollar sign in front of the D and in front of the C. And I'll press OK and now I can highlight and see that the auto department, the cleaning department and the home department actually did not meet their sales target for this quarter as well. So that's how you can consolidate multiple tables using power pivot and data relationships into a neat and organized uh, pivot table. I hope you found this video valuable and thank you so much for watching.